Hello, welcome back to Let's Play CrossCode. In the last couple of videos, we faced a very weird optional boss and went looking for a last landmark and found this. Now, we... Oh, here's the thing. We lost really badly to, Sato to Shizuka and I would really like to punch her in the face. On the other hand, I don't want the concept of personhood being connected with I, someone being better at a game or someone being a better fighter. I don't want the thing that gets Shizuka's attention to be, oh, Leah beat her in a fight. That's not what I want. So, I don't like Shizuka, but I'm not going to do like I did with Apollo and, you know, go through that several times. For one thing, I don't think I'm high enough level. I probably am. I'm probably just not good at it. This plot is pretty nice, isn't it? You're talking like you didn't punch my face in and threatened to kill me. Certainly better than anything you'd find in Vermilion Wasteland. Let's sit down for a bit. So what words can you say exactly? Hi, bye, Leah, how, why, wait, sorry, that's it? Must be bothersome. Also, still wearing those horns? So you hate them too? They are the worst, aren't they? They all happen because of a stupid joke. I often complain that the horns don't fit the Spheromancer design at all. So, of course, one day, Sierra gifted them to me. Very funny. And then they'd always log into my account and equip them. Those idiots. And now you ended up with them. Sorry for that. Why? Don't ask me. I didn't do it. Well, at least they left you the scar. Scars are badass. Nods. Guess we both have the same taste. Makes sense. But you're lucky, you know that? You missed the worst stuff. You didn't have to witness your brother dying in front of you, and the futility of the whole situation. They just kept you in that room all the time, taking care of you. Sorry. Shut up! Don't be sorry. Honestly, none of this is your fault. If anything, I should apologize. Thank you! You are already, with that line, you put yourself leagues better than Apollo. But then again, Apollo never threatened to kill us. Or deny our personhood. <sighs> for what I did to you. The whole situation's been going on for so long already. I just don't know what to do anymore. How much longer I can take this. Stop that. How can you be like this as after all the things I did to you? Because she is a nice person. It's too soon. Getting all touchy like that. That is nothing like me. Well, yes, that is nothing like you. She is not you. She just looks like you. Hi, you two are still at it. I think we're done for the most part, though there is one more thing. Shizuka, how is Gotham doing these days? Well, I didn't speak with him much recently. He's busy designing his levels and flying around in his fancy avatar. He seems content enough. Gotham, it might be especially difficult to get him out of this. We did, in fact, meet him while we were in Evotar Ground. From what we saw, it looked like he is physically located in the playground. Could that be the case? Yes, somehow Sidwell met, convinced him to do that. It's easier to keep him under control that way. And well, Gotham was always excited about creating his own worlds. The prospect of experiencing it in person was quite appealing to him. Really, I think he's a lost cause. He's stuck in his fantasy world playing his little god figure. That blue avatar with orange clothing? Yeah. That's him. That is unexpected. He acts like such a different character. That's the whole point. In any case, we should try to figure out if he's on our side with this or not. Shizuka, can you try talking to him about this? Just hinting at what is happening? I can try. Well then, I think I have a good grasp of the situation now. We need time for preparations, though. Certainly, if you have any more questions, you know how to reach me. Yes. I'm glad I was able to meet both of you again. Same for me. Last thing, though. Yes? Looking at what Sidwell accomplished so far, I'm certain he has specific ways to track your actions. Because of that, please be careful if you plan to involve any other player. 
I will, and I already have my suspects. Well then, goodbye, and see you soon. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. You too, Leah. Phew, that was a lot to take in, correct? So, what to do next? Alright, we should head back to the east of Sapphire Ridge. Specifically to that old dojo where you got the meteor shade. According to Satoshi, an entrance to Ivatar Ground is hidden in that area. I would like to have a look at it. We can use that to tell for a quick connection to the dojo. Oh, do I want to do that? I don't think so. I think... First of all, I'm going to save. Second of all... <sighs> Let's go... See if anybody is here. Interesting. Cross Central. Oh. Hmm. South Arc Shopping District. Okay. These are the weapons of Rumba Square, the finest any human can produce. My um, defense would go down and my focus would go up? Yeah, that's what that looks like. I mean, these are extremely basic gear. Focus would go down, down attack. And this would make the... F hmm... Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let me see what we got there. I think... So 254, 277, 285. I think... This together is. Oh, it's going to reduce my hit points a little. Oh, the War Keepers. Yeah. Okay. So I think overall I'm on. What is. Okay. Can I sell the marksman trigger? Cobalt edge? Laser edge? Yep. Yeah. Uh, cobalt mail? Trade Epic Metal Precious Metal Refined Metal I think 
this is trade stuff. I don't think you actually... Yeah, okay. Um... I mean, I could sell a whole lot of this stuff. The Dream Globe... Polished bike. Twilight Shard. Piece of armor from the Twilight Master. Neat. There's a lot of stuff here. That you can't sell. I don't think I'm going to need this so much. Watch this be when we... Yeah, yeah, you're going to need that. Power spinach. <laughs> okay. Um, glow... Okay, glow pair... Static fur ball, butter silk, yeah, she's a guy. I mean, it's weird. She's in a terrible situation. There is that. I mean, she obviously sees her brother as a person, I hope. <sighs> yeah, I'm basically just even things out to, uh, multi to uh, round numbers. Yeah. I'm thinking we're going to have to go to the dojo to advance the plot and get back with our friends. That is my thought. This is very nice, relaxing music, though, isn't it? So, again, and I'm kind of doing this as possibly a, I don't want to redo those fight that fight so much is it makes a lot of sense that she's a cause a better fighter than uh, Leah. And what I like is that what made her think that oh this person's not just a copy of me is when Leah. Um, was doing things that she wouldn't do, the quote-unquote touchy-feely stuff. Oh, no. veggie sets okay then check out bye laser mail um that's a lot of increase to hit points Now, these aren't really good 
because they're just store bought. I, I've noticed all the store bought things are pretty. Eh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, what do you need? Sit, sunset Dew and Citrine. Trackwalker Visor. Scope and Bullseye. I don't know what Scope does. That is a lot of bonus. Oh. Focus would drop. But look at all this other stuff. Balance. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky. Chess link. Infinity plus one bag. Item booster. Appetite. Hit point would take a yep plate of chests. Okay. Artillery boots. Oh, turret tokens. Oh my goodness! I'd have to get turret tokens and trench boots. Oof. Meister gloves. I have disciple gloves. I do not have adept. Oh, I would have a citrine and a garnet. Would have to have six of each of those. Those are going to be rare. I know where I'm going to get this. This I'm going to have to get from the monk thing. What does it? I wonder what repose does. I know what it does. What it means. Wondering how it works in this. Status rush. Oh. Okay. Um. Nope. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Um. There we go. There we go. Meister gloves. There we go. Ah, I have the epic metal I need. I would need a shining bracer. Oh my. Uh, life fiber uniform. HP regen, SP regen. Oh, blue fiber robe. Where do I find a blue fiber robe? Oh my goodness, that's yellow. That's probably something I'll have to find in a box somewhere. Ruby and amethysts. Sticky web I can get. Oh my goodness. Skirmisher. Unbreaking fist. Mantis whip. Oh, golden falcon. Bro stick of force. X counter lapis lazuli. Zealous Lamellar, Pioneer Vest, Reactive Plate, Iron Stance. I don't know what Iron Stance does. I need to go probably... Alright, I've got it. I'm going to go for Bullseye and Shooter Gear. That's good, right? If you're a coward, maybe. If you want to really have fun, you need to get up close and personal. Assault and Brawler all day. Uh, No, no, no. It's way more fun to be invincible and let the enemies kill themselves. Full pin body all the way. I'm not sure. Fights will take all day like that. True warrior fights on the edge. Maxion Berserker is the only way. Do you all have that the gems for that gear? Nah, nope. Not yet. Are you finally ready to go farming then? Maybe I should go full status rush. That's fighting dirty. I like it. <sighs> no, no, no. What about at least going Royal Guard and Repost? Let me out of here. Okay. Hydra Fang. Mm. General Improvement. 
What does Warp Berserker do? I need to go to the thing at the front that tells you what all this these stats mean. Okay. Epic Metal! Epic Metal! Epic Metal! Okay. Actually, is it in the encyclopedia? Nope. What's over here? Oh, there's a quest. Welcome to the Boost Lounge, Seeker. Here you can acquire the booster item introduced in version 1.35-1 of Crossworlds. As this is your first visit here, allow me to explain. These traders behind me hold a booster add-on for each one of the major areas. Once acquired and turned on, enemies in the affected area will become much stronger. They will also drop rare gemstones used in various trading offers around Rumba Square. However, each trader requires a legendary item that can be found in that affected area. They are very well hidden. Try communicating with other players in order to locate. Good luck and happy hunting, Seeker. Let's see if we got... Ooh. Halcyon Droplet. Portrait of Ruin. We can get this one. We don't have enough money. Starfruit. We're a little bit away from this one. Ridge booster. We can get this one if we have more money. Okay, cool. So, um... Wait. Oh, I have to go down this way. Okay. Going to do a thing. Marketplace. Info hub. That's where I want to go. Haven't actually looked at this. And I keep telling myself, Hey, blue-haired girl. Hi. Crossworlds is fun, of, full of bizarre and cool things. Hope you enjoy your stay and never give up. Okay. Bro, what do you need to know? Explain. Buffs. Oh, you're interested in proper diet? Good thinking, bro. Fo foods are the primary sor source of getting buff. Use those and look at your power sore, man. It's only temporary, though, and you can only have two food buffs active at a time. Limited digestion, man. Staying buff can make a huge difference, so stay well fed. Your body will thank you. Got more questions? There are four basic stats in Crossworlds. HP or your life. More HP means more damage that you can take and survive by tanking like a boss. Pumping HP will also make healing more effective, both for eating and your body's own healing. More attack increases the damage you inflict your with your attacks. And bro, remember there's more factors that change the damage the modifiers you get from your deer your gear. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Dash and vulnerability, because way more important. No thanks. Okay. Let me take care, bro. Circuit override. Circuit reset terminal downstairs. Uh, circuit functionality, different circuits, specific modifiers. Ah, sp some modifiers can be tricky. Which one confuses you? What is Iron Stance? The Iron Stance modifier lets you ignore the stun and knockback from attack, so you can just keep on fighting. Okay. Though you can only ignore attacks up to a certain limit, depending on their damage. The maximum damage you can ignore is the Iron Stance percentage of the max hit point value. So a fighter with 1000 HP and 10% Iron Stance can ignore all attacks of 100 damage or less. Obviously more reliable against many small attacks compared to powerful hits. And without a decent defense and max hit points, 
you won't find it very useful either. Any other mods that confuse you? Reflect certain amount of damage to attackers when blocking their attacks. The reflected damage depends on how much is absorbed by the shield and your overall defense value. There are people who are going to watch this video and say, now he decides to actually look into this? While the attacker's defense reduces the damage as usual, the defense of the defender further increases it. I think my one of my friend's comments much earlier in the game was, why don't you have a build? <laughs> Thus it is very useful ability for defensive fighters. Just tank your enemies to death, mate. Any other mods that confuse you? Additional shockwaves to your melee attacks. Total strength of all the shockwaves is modifier percentage will appear each 25% modifier value, though the overall damage stays the same. Any other mods that confuse you? Increases damage on account of that means attacks against enemies that are either currently attacking or preparing for an attack. Any other mods that confuse you? The modifier increases damage against weakened enemies. Enemies that have been breaking works differently for every foe. You'll find this only in special equipment, not though not in any circuit. Momentum modifier increases the damage of any action that is ex directly after dashing. Uh, DAC cast stack for every dash you do, so dashing three times with 10% modifier increases your damage by 30%. In fact, one action. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, no, no thanks. Uh, that'll take some time. I think I'll have to look into this a little bit more though, but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and save here, and I think we're good for now. I am curious, though. 722 out of 1,000. Okay, talk to you all later. Um, I'm thinking the game is going to go join the others to explore Roman Square or search north of Sapphire Ridge. I think... We're going to go join the others first. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.